Hi everyone, welcome back to Face to Face. Today I'm joined with sophomore Hannah Rambo, who is a criminal justice major. We're just gonna be talking a little bit about Vermilion Student Health and her individual experience. So Hannah, thank you so much for joining us today. So why did you like originally go to Student Health? Like what symptoms were you experiencing? I was experiencing, I couldn't hold anything down, food, liquids, anything. I was really dizzy, really nauseous. And Can you just like explain the overall process, like what you were diagnosed with at Student Health? And then like what ended up like actually being wrong? Yeah, so I went through a whole bunch of testing. They did every test under the sun for me and he didn't actually diagnose me with anything. He just gave me kind of some cough medicine for bronchitis even though I ended up having a gallbladder problem later. So was your student health provider helpful would you say? No, I think he was pretty rude and he didn't give me any information as to what was going on. He kind of just did some tests on me and then he was like, okay, you can go now. You made an appointment. How long did it take for them to actually see you? Like how long were you waiting? I waited in the waiting room for probably about a half hour, 40 minutes before okay. they actually saw me. And then were you seen by like a nurse and a doctor or how did that process A nurse go? and a doctor I got, but I saw mostly the nurse, like I barely saw the doctor. So the nurse did like most of your tests and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when the doctor came in, like how much time roughly did he spend like explaining things to you or letting um, you know what was going on? Not that long. He kind of just kind of went over my test results and he was like, okay, you're fine. Like, you can go ahead. Okay. So then how did you end up finding out about the gallbladder issue? Um, it was, so I went to student health right before Christmas break, went home over Christmas break, and then ended up going to a doctor and a surgeon to figure out that I ended up having a lot of problems. Well, overall, like, would you describe your experience at student health like positively or negatively? Pretty negatively. I say I wouldn't go back to student health if I had the choice. And have you been back to student health since? I haven't. So what are some things that you think Sanford could have done differently to make your experience a little more positive? I think the doctor being a little bit more tolerant with time instead of just like speeding through the process and being like, okay, you're fine. And just having a bit more like positive patient care, definitely. Yeah. And I think like communicating with your patient is really important because a lot of people are nervous and especially in college, a lot of us like don't really know what's going on. So what do you think like that they could do better at like communicating to you or like they could have done better? Absolutely. I think that they definitely could have done a better job communicating because when I left they were like okay we'll talk, call you with your test results and I didn't end up getting a call in for like a few days with the test results that they said were going to take about 40 minutes. Oh really? So they told you they would only take 40 minutes to 40, get back to you? 40 minutes to an hour and then they would call me but I did, I mean I did go in pretty late in the day, but I, I expected the test results that day, and I didn't get a call for like a day or so past that. So if there was like another student that was like experiencing some of these symptoms, like would you, what would you recommend them doing? Like would you recommend going to student health first, or would you recommend like something else? I just recommend going to a normal clinic. I mean, yes, student health has its perks with being a student and having those discounts, but I just recommend going to a normal clinic. So have you had like gallbladder issues prior to this? Did you kind of like have an idea going in what was wrong or? I did. I had had a few problems in the past, but then it kind of just would pass and then I would go on with living my life. But um, so I kind of knew and then my mom is a nurse. So I kind of like give, gave her my symptoms. I was like, hey, like, do you think I need to go in for this type thing? just to see if it was actually worth the time. So then after you left student health, like when did your, like how long did it take for you to end up like going to another doctor? It took about two weeks because my symptoms passed for a little bit and then it, they came back and they were worse. And so at that point I was home for Christmas break and decided I should probably go see a doctor again because the symptoms were worse than they were when I went to student health. And then what did that doctor end up telling you? That doctor ended up doing a CAT scan and did a whole bunch of scans and a whole bunch of tests again and it had gotten worse and she said that I was going to be referred to a surgeon to get my gallbladder out because that's what was going wrong. wrong. And did you ask Student Health to perform a CAT scan? I um, had told them kind of what I had talked to my mom about because she was a nurse and I was, I was like, she said that, you know, I should probably get some scans done and they said, no, I don't think that's what's going on. 
And that's all for Face to Face. A special thanks to Hannah Rambo for joining us today. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, for a more in-depth story about the prices and services offered at Student Health, check out last week's Coyote News Story.